Road to a Better Community is brought to you by MNB. The Pine Bluff School District is trying hard to put its students in the best position to succeed. That means helping them in a lot of ways that won't show up on a report card. As our own David Lipman shows us, that includes the ability to wear clean clothes. It only took a couple of weeks to go from having an idea about bringing laundry facilities in to finding a donor to then having a washer and dryer installed at the old Bel Air Middle School. I can't believe how quickly the response turned around and uh, it was just wonderful. It was a great feeling because we knew we were going to be able to meet the needs of the students. It was a true blessing. From social workers to the superintendent, Pine Bluff School District is focused on the needs of its students, however basic they may be. Mrs. Jackson and uh, Ms. Thomas also, they operate a food pantry here that's located in the same facility, as well as they operate a clothes, pan uh, clothes closet. And if a family doesn't have access to laundry machines, Superintendent Owa says a child's self-esteem can plummet, causing them to do poorly in class or skip it altogether. And one of the things that we want to make sure is that we really address as a district any barrier that may cause our students to not want to uh, come to school. When it came time to buy the washer and dryer, Sean Jackson knew she could count on Doctors Orders Pharmacy to donate the money. I kid you not, it was probably two days later and she said she found a partner and before I knew it, I received an email saying that uh, we had a delivery. This building holds administrative offices these days, so when parents make arrangements to come, they don't have to worry about being embarrassed. We have uh, counselors on our campus that are going to be sending parents to us. And so they will let us know that they're coming and we'll provide the service by just coming and being real discreet about it. While the old Bel Air building is convenient for everyone who lives on the east side of Pine Bluff, the school district says they also want to put a washer and dryer at Southwood Elementary so that everyone on the west side of town has access as well. Reporting in Pine Bluff, David Lippman, THV 11 News.